guys, welcome back to the channel. This is my first DT project for Happiness in Crafting by G. Kerr. Um, I am so honoured to have been chosen to uh, be on the design team and it kind of made my day that she did pick me. Um, this is the Blue Butterfly collection and I absolutely love this collection. Um, it is so versatile you can use it for all sorts of things so what i want to do is actually take you through the kit first you know the kit that your digital kit that you buy and show you what's in there and you will see that there are lots of beautiful pages for all sorts of things that you can do i love these butterflies because these you can all stack and make really nice butterflies and these are lovely for your journaling spots and your little tags and that and you've got the words there as well so absolutely love the embellishment side of those they're gorgeous and then we have um the four postcards and these are all the, the pages shrunk down g shrunk them down into size so they can be used for journaling cards for all sorts of things and I, I, this one i love in particular i think it's a beautiful page and it looks so nice so there's four on that one and then you get these are the four here and these are beautiful I mean this one is gorgeous with all the blues on and butterfly wishes and butterfly wishes down there absolutely beautiful papers can't fault them in any way at all absolutely beautiful and then we go on to the bigger pages and I do apologize for the shadows this is it's a very cold wet dark day here in Gateshead in the UK so I'm have to put the lights on everywhere to try and get the light as best I can but obviously there's shadows as well so I apologize for that this is a beautiful one which says butterfly wishes on it absolutely gorgeous look at that one big butterfly I mean you could cut all these out these can all be used for different sorts of things you could do tags you could do all sorts I love this. I do. I can't see it enough. I can't see enough of for it, really. And this one. Beautiful. And I love the roses, the flowers and that, and the little pinks. And it just opens it up to so many different colours as well. And it just reminds me of the spring. Look at this one. This one I absolutely love because it is a beautiful backing paper. Well, it's not a backing paper, but you know what I mean. I like it. it as a background and then do something on the top of it. But it's absolutely gorgeous. Absolutely love that one. This one I love because it's got the, the lines on so you can journal. If you're using it in a journal, you can do that. Um, or you could kind of cut this in half. I've actually done all sorts of things with this page on different projects that I've done. This one is beautiful again with a script on and that it is beautiful absolutely gorgeous G does amazing kits I absolutely love her kits and normally once she releases them I'm there and I buy them which is one of my hoarding tendencies right now there's this one has got the little pattern down in this corner here which you could cut out you could cut that out and use that as a corner tuck or you can use it for journaling all sorts that one, I've got two of those there. I don't know how I did that, but two of those there. And then you've got one whole page there that's just got the lines on for journaling on. Again, you could do that as a on the inside, you know, if you wanted to use something different just to give it something so you're not just got this side and then the white sort of thing. You could print it, double side it. And then finally, this last one, I, this is beautiful, Butterfly Wishes. I mean, look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Absolutely gorgeous. Love the, the pastel colours. They are beautiful and it does. It reminds me so much of spring. But that is the kit that you will get. I will link um, G's Etsy store. Uh, down below um, where you can get the kit and there are many many more kits there as well as you will see if you go and have a look if you don't know G you need to go have a look and see um, she also has a group on Facebook called happiness in crafting 
Um, I'll add the link to that. Please do come over and join us on there. It's a lovely group. Um, and also you get uh, on a Friday, uh, G does free Friday freebies, which is she gives you um, the PDF for different, different things. She does all sorts of things and they're really nice. And she tries to do it so that they all blend in with what she's doing that month. So it's been really nice. Um, but she's got, an, like I said, she's got an Etsy store. And they have a, a website as well. So I'll link everything that you need to know. I will link down below. But now I want to show you what I've made for my design team project this month. And this is what I call the Blue Butterfly Stuffed Folio. Oh, I'm going to turn it around that way. Okay. I made this. So I'm pretty happy with it. It's It's... I love the delicate side of it all. So what I've done is obviously I've used one of the backing papers as a base. Um, I've done a little tassel with a bulb clip there with the bird, word butterfly. And I laminated these. G showed us how to do that on her channel, on her YouTube channel as well. And I will we'll link that as well. And a bit of ribbon there as well. One of the butterflies I've laminated, so that makes it nice and stiff. I put a little tuck there and added the word dream onto it. And these little cards I've laminated again. You can just use them for decoration. You can journal on them. You can do all sorts with them. And I've just put those in there. And they're all laminated, so they keep it nice. They will last forever. And then I've got... Butterfly Wishes there, which is that big page there, which I absolutely love. I put um, some lace down the edge here because I, I wanted to do it so it's really nice and feminine. Um, done the same lace on that side. And then I've done pearls and bling and some more pearls along the spine. But on this one, in the top of this page here, I made a pocket so that, let me just get them all out, here we go, so you've got all of these, they <laughs> do come out, as you can see, this is why I've called it a stuffed phyllo, because I have stuffed it, one of these, again, I've laminated, you can journal on the back, you can do what you like with them, look at that one, isn't that beautiful? Um, this one I just pop the page in so that you can just journal on that and do whatever you like with it. So that goes in there. And then I made an envelope up out of the paper. Sorry. Which I made. I made an envelope up. And what I've done is filled it up with lots of ephemera, bits of ephemera, and pop them in there. Little bits of butterfly. And these have all been laminated, so they last a long time. That goes in there, and then that goes like that. And that's the envelope. So that was a pocket on the front there that I poked all these in and stuffed them. And that's why I called it the stuffed envelope Philo. I don't can't remember. <laughs> but I thoroughly enjoyed doing this. I really did enjoy making it. Here we go. And then we get those back in there. And I thought this would make a lovely little gift um, that someone could use if who whoever makes if they make journals or if they just want to add something extra to someone's parcel, they can. So that was that first page. Oh, there we go. Okay. I did a couple of little flowers down there just to brighten up again. And then I'll open this up. I did some tulle in the blue. So to tie it down so that it could be shut. And then we opened it up and I packed it. <laughs> Which is why I say it's stuffed because it is um, decorated with little butterflies on, um, made a side 
pocket there and decorated with pearls. Let's try and get that so it's right there. Again, made the pocket. Use the backing paper. Again, I've done these beautiful cards. Some are laminated, some are not. But it's a lovely way to use them. A lovely way to use them. And I think they're really nice. I mean, this would be a lovely little gift for someone. You know, and they could, they could add it to their own collection or do whatever they really want with it, can't they? You know? So that's that page. And then on this side, I did do a um, weeping flower down the middle of that. So it just hangs there. I did um, uh, another little bulb pin with, sorry, little bulb pin there with three, three butterflies and the circle embellishment there on a bulb pin so they just hang there. Um, this one I did the corner bit with the, I cut it off and put the word wish on and I did a butterfly on there and put lace across the top so it's a lovely little tox, tuck spot in there again I've done the beautiful beautiful bits and pieces and I just cut these squares out of the paper so as not to waste it that can all be used But it is packed, and that's what I wanted. I wanted it to be a stuffed one so that it's there. So that's page two and three. Really happy with the way that's come out. And so let's get on to the last page. Now the last page, oh, let's do that way. Okay, again, we've got the lace, and I put all the pearls on. I only did the bling on the front, and the rest of it I've just put put pearls on I've done um, some blue lace very light blue lace down there just to finish off that th frill along the side I made a side pocket here which again is stuffed with all sorts of bits and pieces I made another envelope again filled with it filled it with the ephemera the butterflies the flowers and that Lots of the cards, absolutely love cards. I made a tag there. Another beautiful, uh, I keep saying it, but I, I absolutely adore this kit. It's beautiful, it's so pretty. A great selection there, beautiful cards. Can't go wrong with it, absolutely love it. So that goes back into the side pocket there. Let me just make sure I can get them all back in again. Oh, there's another one I left behind that had the... I've got to put it in one bit at a time because there's so much of it. I don't want to damage. So, there we go. I mean, this could be something that you could give to somebody, who, especially someone who still likes to write letters and things like that. I think it'd be a nice addition to add to somebody. And they could drop down little bits and pieces that they would like to, to say and pop a little card in and things like that. And then on this corner here, I just did the blue butterfly, put the butterfly letters, wording there, another one inside and that one into the little tuck spot there. And then I made a little pocket here and I made, pop that there, and then I made three, three tags from the paper collection, which I think are really pretty. So those are beautiful. I'm I'm really happy with the way it's turned out. I hope you guys like it. I really would appreciate your input and comments and let me know how you if you like it and what you think I could improve on couldn't improve on I don't know I'm always up for people telling me what I've done right and what I've done wrong as long as they're not nasty about it I'm always willing to listen to people's opinions 
So that's my first DT project. I just dropped everything out of for um, February. I have to admit, I've loved doing it. I've loved using my brain and, and focusing on something. I've been really struggling through this lockdown with my mental health. And this has really given me something to focus on. Um, I'm already planning on my next one for March. So watch this space and I will see you soon. Take care. And lots of love to you all. And don't forget, all links will be in the description box below. So, um, for the website, the Facebook group, you, you, G YouTube channel and the Etsy shop. So, take a good look and have a look. Go look through. You won't be disappointed. Believe me, you won't. Um, thanks for watching and take care and lots of love to you all. Bye.